My name is Jackie Bantle, and I'm the Agriculture Greenhouse Manager at the University of Saskatchewan. So today I'm going to talk a bit about um, Epsom salts and tomatoes. Uh, so people, they're always asking me questions about how do I deal with blossom end rot on my tomatoes? And well, the first question is, do you know what blossom end rot is? So blossom end rot is where you have a black piece uh, on the underside of your tomato, um, not where the stem is attached, but the other side. And so it turns black or gray and kind of gets sunken in. And so you're looking at that and you're saying, what did I do wrong? And someone says, well, you need more Epsom salts. And so they go out there and get the Epsom salts. But that's not really the actual problem. Uh, the problem is that, well, first I should back up and say the Epsom salts often contain magnesium. So people think, oh, well, okay, that's what my tomato needs. But actually what your tomato needs is more the, the circulation of the water within the plant to provide the calcium and magnesium. So in Saskatchewan, our soils usually have a lot of magnesium and calcium. We don't have to worry about that. But the problem is that the plant isn't getting that. They're not getting the, the magnesium and the calcium. So often it's uneven watering that's the problem. And especially you'll see a lot of blossom end rot in pots that haven't been watered regularly. So if you allow your tomatoes to dry out and then the next day you come and you really water them really thoroughly and then you go away and forget about them for a couple of days and come back and they dry out and then you water them again, that disrupts the cycle of available nutrients and so the cell walls break down on the tomatoes because they don't have the nutrients available at the time. Not that they're not there, but they're just not available. And so people will grab some Epsom salts and they'll mix them according to directions that they'll find on the internet or wherever and they pour in the Epsom salts and they think oh well okay I solved the problem or some people use eggshells and so they'll crack up eggshells and they'll think well that calcium in those eggshells that's what the plant needs but this is all false there's usually a lot of, of nutrients in a garden soil and you don't have to add Epsom salts or, or um, cracked eggshells now if you're growing in a pot that's a different case because in a pot, we typically don't use soil, okay? And the reason for that is if you take soil from your garden and put it in a pot, it doesn't work as well because there, it doesn't drain very well. So I never recommend using soil in a pot to plant plants. What you want to use is some kind of media that you can purchase. And so the media usually will have some peat moss and maybe some vermiculite and some perlite. And it'll grow in that in that media, but lots of times the, that media doesn't have anything for nutrients in it, unlike our soils. And so what you want to do, instead of using Epsom salts, you just want to use a nice full uh, fertilizer that has all the major nutrients, but micronutrients as well. So the micronutrients are small things like calcium, magnesium, and things like that. The macronutrients are the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, okay? But you also need micronutrients. And so here I've got a soluble fertilizer, okay? It's a 20-20-20 fertilizer with some micronutrients. You mix it with water according to the label directions. And you would use this in your potted plants, in your vegetables and your flowers too. Because remember, the media doesn't have any nutrients in it, but soil in your garden does have good nutrients, okay? So you mix this according to label directions. And usually I water with a 20-20-20 fertilizer uh, on my vegetables, either once a week or for sure every two weeks, okay, just to keep them healthy and looking good. So remember, Epsom salts are not the solution to blossom end rot. It's more of a circulation problem, and you have to have even watering with your tomatoes in any, and either in the garden or in your pot.